Say hello now to Paul Schaefer and the world's most dangerous orchestra. Thank you. Thank you. You know, you know David, uh, I, think my, I think it was Mahatma Gandhi, actually, who said it best when he said, good government is no substitute for self-government. Or as I like to say, it's a gassy gig, it's a totally fresh kind of kick. David Letterman, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Paul, why don't you introduce uh, your friends there? We don't get to introduce, introduce these gentlemen often enough. And quickly, let's say hello to the men who make up that fine organization over there. I would be thrilled to. On bass, a guy who's uh, wearing, I think, Mike Nesmith's old shirt today. <laughs> but he's the finest bass player in the world. Mr. Will Lee on bass. Uh, on drums, a guy whose motto is, it's too, too funky in here. Steve Jordan, we have on drums with us. And on guitar over here, I'm going to introduce him the way Paul Anka might introduce his dad, who's also in the business. That's an in thing. We won't talk about that. <laughs> Steve Kahn on the guitar. That's our band. Thank you very much. Paul Schaefer, ladies and gentlemen. Well... Anything interesting happened while I was gone? <laughs> Welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, just let me take a minute here to thank our guests, uh, Jack and Elaine LaLanne. Let's all say that, shall we? Jack and Elaine LaLanne. Something about those names, just plain fun to say. Jack and Elaine LaLanne, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, also, my thanks to, you know him, you love him, you can't live without him, a recent graduate of the Columbia School of Broadcasting, Larry Bud Melman, for filling in with... And, of course, I guess we've introduced Paul. Paul, how are you? Did you have a nice vacation? Oh, I had a lovely... I was in Bermuda. But I don't want to hear about Paul's trip. Uh... No, no. Maybe, maybe another time we'll hear about Paul's trip to Bermuda. Uh, coming up in this uh, next half... Oh, <laughs> coming up in this next half hour, we have a winner of the New York State Lottery. Uh, Tony Creaney is here, and also the producer of a wonderful motion picture entitled Gizmo, Howard Smith. He will be here. And now I'm going to do one of these, if you don't mind. And, uh, and also, we're going to uh, talk more to uh, Paul Schaefer about his uh, vacation. Uh, we'll find out a little bit more about that in a second. <laughs> Paul Schaefer, and I got to tell you. I got to tell you, everywhere I go, people say, what is he like to work with? What's David like? What's he like to work with? And I say, I say the honest, I give him an honest answer. Yeah. He's a nut, he's a nutty case, a nut face. <laughs> you know, and you are, but I love you. I love oh, you. I love you too, Paul. You're, and you're a nut case too, and hey... Uh, Hiram's not wearing shoes tonight again. He's not tonight. Uh, now, Paul, uh, you had a vacation. I went... I... <laughs> yes. I went to a land... <laughs> I went... was in Bermuda. Uh, uh -huh. And, you know, I don't want to knock a whole island or anything. So, I went... <laughs> so I'm not going to say to my... But I wrote a little song uh -huh. while I was there just to kind of express my feelings. Now, will we hear that one night, do you think? Or tonight, maybe? Any night. You know, would you like to hear it? I don't know. If, do we have time for Paul's... It's just short. Okay, I do this uh, unaccompanied. It's just, you know, sort okay. of... Some, Paul Schaefer like and his salute to an island in the Atlantic, this is Bermuda. A, it's just, I just do it without, you know... Okay. Bermuda! <laughs> it's a cuckoo place. <laughs> Nutty kind of place. Bermuda. <laughs> I don't know, it's just, you know, my feelings. <laughs> just how I felt at the time. Well, it's nice to see that your time on the island wasn't wasted, Paul. That's, uh... I'll be calling ASCAP in the morning. That's part. nice. That could become like their anthem. They're the, okay. the anthem for the island. Uh, welcome to the show. What have, uh, well, we've, I've done that, haven't I? Paul Schaefer, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Paul Schaefer. David, i got to say one thing. Last night... Last night, Bob Hope referred to me as your Les Brown. <laughs> and I just want to say that there's nobody who's Les Brown I'd rather be. 
Oh, and great. David well, Letterman. That's, that's yeah. very, very nice of you. Very nice. You know, also, I don't know if you saw the show, but last night Paul sang a song that he had written about Bermuda. <laughs> And it's been haunting me all day, just running through my head. And, and I don't know if we have time again right now, but maybe... Some, do we have time now for the... Oh. You told me to go there, too. You said go there, you'll have a wonderful time. I suggested you go to That's Bermuda. That's right, and this is not, you know, it's not a knock against the island or anything, but this is a song that I just, you know, some feelings that I had when it, I was there. It, excuse me, it's more of an anthem. It's like a hymn, almost. Well, thank you. Yeah. It's a hymn. It's a teenage anthem. I like to think of it as a teenage anthem. Okay. And it goes, this is it. It's just, you know, it's just it, my honest. Here. <laughs> Bermuda. It's a cuckoo place. <laughs> nutty, nutty kind of place. Bermuda. Oh, That's just that. Right. I'm sorry. Ooh, it makes me want to phone my travel here. agent. Well. <laughs>Everyone loves a good song, and the phone company supplies a new song every day about a favorite vacation spot. Since it's vacation season now, today we're going to dial a song about Bermuda. <laughs> dial a song about Bermuda. Bermuda! <laughs> place. Nutty, nutty kind of place. Bermuda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know it means nothing to most of us, but... At this time now, please say hello. You know him, you love him, you can't live without him. Mr. Paul Schaefer, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. Good evening, everybody. David, I don't know, but I have a feeling that tonight... Something wonderful is going to happen. Oh, boy. I'm glad you had that feeling. And since you brought up something wonderful happening, can I ask you to do it one more time, Paul? Yeah. Can we hear it just once more? Because we're beginning, we we're beginning our weekend, and it is the vacation season. Do we have time for this? Do we have time for it? Uh, <laughs> I think this, we have just, sure. I don't know. I was in, uh, David Letterman said to me, you, we have a week off. Go to a wonderful island, Bermuda. You'll have a wonderful time. I don't want to say anything more about it, you know, I don't want to knock a whole island or anything, but while I was there, I wrote a little song. I just do it, it's a simple All thing, right. I'll just do it quickly. All right. Let me see. <laughs> Bermuda! It's a cuckoo kind of place. <laughs> nutty, 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 nutty place. Bermuda. That's right. Just the way I thought of it. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Paul. And now it is a wonderful show after that. You, you are absolutely right. You know, uh, letter number three comes to us uh, from uh, Russ Dolly, Southington, Connecticut. Dear Mr. Letterman, I enjoy your show very much, and I think very highly of you and that bald guy in the band. <laughs> Here in the letter, in fact, I think so highly of you, I would like your advice on where I should spend the rest of my summer vacation. I heard some, uh, where, I heard somewhere that Bermuda was a nutty, nutty kind of place. Perhaps you and Paul can help. Signed, Russ Dolly, Southington, Connecticut. What do you think, Paul? Uh, any, any hints for this gentleman here? That hurt, that ball. <laughs> that, that wasn't really fair. But listen, all bygones be bygones. I got my slides back today. Oh, great. So, uh, I li I've put together a little thing, and, uh, you know, I think you'll find that it fits very well. Oh, with terrific. A, with a little song. Sing it. Uh, how about a little echo, Pam, for this, for this one? A little echo, all right. Yeah, here we go. Oh, yeah, Bermuda. <laughs> it is a cuckoo, modified, American planned kind of place. <laughs> Nutty, nutty, not just knee-deep, nutty kind of dancing place. 
swinging kind of limbo rocking place. Bermuda. That's I don't know, the, the hairs on the back of my neck stand up. It's like being in church when you do that, Paul. That's, that was very nice. Please now, at this time, say hello to Mr. Paul Schaefer, our musical director. Thanks a lot, David. I got a good feeling about this one. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Thank you, Paul. You know, man's scientific knowledge has doubled in the past decade. Yes, doubled. And technological advances continue at a bewildering rate. Today's men and women who fail to keep pace with this profound transformation of our society will soon find themselves as out of, pla out of place as out of place as a hippie in a hovercraft. We s I'm with you, ma'am. We, we don't know what it means. It, it just, it got by in rehearsal and here it is tonight. And we're all just sick about it, frankly. But now, back to our story. To help our viewers prepare for the changes to, oh, I'm sorry, I should have moved at that point. Let me, uh, it'll be fine, don't worry about it. To help our viewers prepare for the changes tomorrow, we'll bring, hi, Paul, Hiram, Will, Lee, uh, Steve. Let's now examine some of the wonders we can expect, here it comes, in the world of the future, ladies and gentlemen, yes. <laughs> Here we are in the world of the future. Well, first there was the wristwatch. Recently, they've developed a wrist TV. Do we have a wrist TV? I guess not. Uh, but in the future, everyone now will be wearing one of these wrist toasters. Let's try a piece of this toast here. It actually tastes a little burnt now. The problem, what do you do with a piece of burnt toast from a wrist toaster? Well, you put it in the wrist wastebasket right there. Yeah, there you go. That's exactly how that works. All right, now... <laughs> uh, now, uh, now, this is of particular interest to me, the TV of the future. Let's see what marvelous programming is in store for us. 30 years from now, let me just push it on there. The TV of the future, ladies and gentlemen. What are you talking about? Now, Arnold, try to understand the situation. Yeah, Bermuda. It is a cool. TV of the future. <laughs> TV here, the old. Uh, thing. <laughs> okay, I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to pause, hose down the audience and myself, and uh, we'll return that with the Bermuda. show. Yes. <laughs> this That's and much, much more. We'll be back with Jerry Lewis. Thank you very much, Bill Wendell. Uh, we're just about out of time. Uh, first of all, I would like to explain that Herb Graff, the uh, film historian uh, who was scheduled to be on our program tonight, will be rescheduled uh, at some time in the near future, and we'll look forward to his uh, appearance on this program. We're sorry he didn't make it out here tonight. Uh, my special thanks to the studio audience tonight. As always, you folks are terrific. And uh, a special thanks to Mr. Jerry Lewis. It was great fun having him here. Uh, thanks to Bill Wendell and, of course, Paul Schaefer and the band. And by the way, if you pick up this magazine, a musician, the November issue, there's a fine little story about Paul Paul and the group here in this magazine, and I think prizes involved. Um, it's a very nice article, Paul. Congratulations on that. Also, tomorrow night, ladies and gentlemen, we will have right here actor Lou Jacoby, comedian Paul Mooney, singer, songwriter, oh, the heart, uh, Ann and Nancy Wilson will be here tomorrow night, plus another look, a uh, fascinating profile at the people behind Late Night. That's tomorrow night. Jot this down on your TV guide. Uh, you'll be glad you did. Have a good night. Thanks for being here.
Welcome back to the program. Later on tonight, we'll have uh, Bill Wegman is here and also comedian Tom Sharp. Now, tomorrow, uh, this is a very special day for us. Uh, Franken and Davis, the comedy team thereof, will be here. TV critic Jeff Greenfield uh, and Carol Merrill, the woman who used to point at fabulous prizes on Let's Make a Deal. And also, tomorrow, jot this down on your shoe somewhere, tomorrow will be safety day. Don't miss it if you can't. So that's tomorrow. Now, oh, and uh, Paul, uh, I understand you had uh, quite a big day yesterday. I had a very, <clears throat> a very special day for two reasons. First of all, I bought a house, bought myself a little house. I have a picture of it right here. I want to show everybody. Can you sure. get a picture of this? There it is. Whoa. Gorgeous Whoa. place. About 20 miles outside the city. Going to have you up real soon, Dave. Uh -huh. I really mean that. 15 yeah. rooms, whole works, all the property I own. Way back, way, all the way back to the river. I own all that property. You own? There. Now, wait a minute. You, you live there. You live in the house, but the, actually, the bank owns it, right? No, no, there's no, there's no mortgage or anything here. I paid cash for this house. I'm really, really very happy. About it. Thrilled about it. Paid cash? You're kidding. I, I mean, I had no idea that you were making that kind also, of. Also, uh, Dave, it was special uh, for another reason. It was a landmark for me, if I may say, professionally. Uh -huh. I don't know whether you ever watch MTV, the cable, 24-hour uh, rock music cable yeah, network. Sure. Well, a videotape of mine, and it, my new video, had its debut on there last night. I'm very excited about it, and if I may, if I could take this opportunity to, just to thank the people here at NBC. They trusted me with this, they believed in me, they shared my vision, and they footed the whole bill for the video, $150,000 for this video, NBC. Thank you very much. $150,000 for a promotional videotape? Well, it's, it's an expensive medium. Yeah. <laughs> well, I understand we actually you have some... You're going to show us a little of this as it debuted last night on, on uh, MTV? If we could. could okay. We thing? I'm All right. very Let's take a look now at this. Paul's new video. All right. From MTV, Fleetwood Mac video. I'm Mark Goodman here with you tonight. As I promised you a little bit earlier, we have a great new video. In fact, it is world premiere video from Late Night's own, you know him, you love him, Paul Schaefer. Now, if you watch the David Letterman show, you know that Schaefer is a genius. He's a madman. And I understand that this tape cost NBC over $150,000. This could make it the most expensive videotape ever produced. So grab onto something. I think we are in for a real treat. If you are ready for it, the always dangerous Paul Schaefer with Bermuda. <laughs> Bermuda! It is a cuckoo place. Oh, yeah. Nutty, 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 nutty kind of place. Bermuda. Trees kind of wound up looking like Reagan's hair. <laughs> no, I love this stuff. I love this, this stuff. There was one where the chimneys become the. Uh... Right. Oh, you're right. right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Hundred. Hundred fifty thousand dollars for that. Well, that's right. Hundred fifty grand. You know. Well, you got to remember. You know where the orange thing came down at the end. Yeah. It's two hundred bucks right there. Yeah. You know, for that visual effect. I can't account for every penny right now, yeah. Dave. I, no. I, don't, I didn't bring the books with me or anything for the, for the video. Yeah. I just brought uh, this picture of my new house yeah. with me. It All certainly is a, a lovely house, Paul, and congratulations again on a major event in your life. Very nice. Paul Schaefer and his new video for Bermuda, ladies and gentlemen. We couldn't be more happy for him. Uh, we'll go away now. We'll be right back with video artist Bill Wegman. So please return, won't you?
Welcome back to the show. Uh, on Monday, uh, on this television program, you'll see Elvis Costello, uh, Doorman of the Year, Sidney Miller, and uh, Harry Shearer, actor, comedian. And uh, that's Monday. Later in the show tonight, Charles Grodin and uh, Marv Albert. Uh, at this point, I'd like to take just a few moments to address a very special message to our own Paul Schaefer. Paul, if you've looked under your Christmas tree, you may have noticed that you don't have a present for me yet. <laughs> Well, that's right, Dave. Uh, I was kind of wondering. Well, the fact is, Paul, I wanted to give you something really special this year, something to repay you for the gift of music that you've given not only me, but America. So, Paul, on behalf of your fans everywhere, in gratitude for the pleasure you've brought to us over the past year, here now is the Late Night Choir to sing a choral arrangement of your great hit song, Bermuda. <laughs> It was incredible. It really was incredible. I'm touched. Uh, I'm, I'm moved, actually. And I don't know what to say except Merry Christmas. This is the nicest Christmas I have ever had. Please now, say hello to our good friend, Mr. Paul Schaefer. Thank you so much. David, I want to say, I'm moved. I'm kind, of, I'm kind of in a pensive mood. If we have a minute, I just feel like playing a little bit of the way we were. Just, just a little bit. Hey, memories. That's enough. Have a great show. That was that was very nice, Just Paul. Thank you. Oh, that's, that's exciting. A, a little ad lib uh, music. For... What do you think, Paul? Just... That's uh, you know, that's an oldie but a goodie. Oh, come on, yeah. do it, do it. A little bit. Yeah. Okay. I haven't done these years. I don't even know if I can remember this. <laughs> so long. Here, here we go. Oh, Bermuda. Thank you, that's all you get. All safer, ladies and gentlemen. You get to this stage, you only have to do a little bit, just the recognition, you know. <laughs> well... <laughs> Did you have a good day today, Paul? Good day? Are you kidding? I hear you have mice in your house. <laughs> Is that true, though? Yeah, I do. I still, I still have the mice. Well, did you do anything of uh, interest that we should share with the... Uh, gee, uh, the day went by. I'll tell you. You know, you know what I did? I, I, uh, I played the uh, album from The Magic Show today, a show that I started my career in New York when I was playing in the pit on Broadway. Wait a minute. You sit, you sit in your apartment and play show tunes? Old, well, in this particular case, a show that I used to have to go and do eight times a week on Broadway, just to remind myself that it's better now. Oh, I think. I it, but you, it, it is better now. Oh, yeah. Oh, good, good. I this appreciate is, that. Yeah. Uh, I, what is it, ma'am? Oh, Bermuda. You, you want to sing Bermuda? That oldie, that moldy oldie. Do you still, people still want to hear that old thing? I don't think so. 
Go ahead, just for all time's sake. Just one, one brief pass at it. Hey, Bermuda. <laughs> it's a cuckoo place. It's a nutty kind of place. Bermuda. Yeah. Yeah. Paul Schaefer, ladies and gentlemen. Unbelievable. Paul Schaefer. This is a little song which I uh, was sort of inspired to write during a, a wonderful trip to a place that uh, I found a little boring, but this is a song <laughs> which I... <clears throat> Bermuda! <laughs> it's a cuckoo kind of place. Nutty, 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 nutty kind of space. A Bermuda. <laughs> all right well uh, if you've been watching all week you know that this has been our salute to the virgin islands and uh, words cannot begin to describe the wonderful time we had down there but perhaps this song composed and performed by our own paul schaefer We'll give you some idea of the special memories we have of our own American paradise. You know, we've had a lot of fun here, here on these beautiful U.S. Virgin Islands, and uh, I don't know, I put together a little song. I was kind of emotionally moved, and uh, I don't know, I hope this song kind of expresses a little bit of what we've been given to feel here in the, uh, in the fabulous islands. It goes something like this. What is an island to me? <laughs> Webster says its land is surrounded by sea. That may not sound like much, unless there's booze and perfume duty free. I'm talking about the Virgin Islands. Some of them are British, but some belong to us. By us in this case, I mean yous. I'm Canadian, but I'll bring you back some booze. Or maybe a Seiko watch from the U.S. Virgin Islands. There's lots of kids with tans, singles, bars, and more. They've even got a Studio 54. There is an island where the shopping is supreme. And being here still feels like a crazy dream. Hey, waiter, bring me one of those Jim Beams. Cause we're the official talk show of the Olympic team. That is gonna represent the U.S. Virgin Islands. How about those nutty islands? Aren't they fabulous? Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Hey, we had a question something. Paul Schaefer, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back. We're going to show you how you order room service in the Virgin Islands. And Stuart Copeland is here.